Hi friends, welcome to Sada Learning Hub. You are with me, Shada Shivrao. Today's session, we are going to learn the most important JDBC interview questions. This is these are the top ten JDBC interview questions. The first question is, what is the JDBC rosette and what are the different types of rosettes? JDBC rosette holds a tabular data in a more flexible way that result set. All the result sets objects are deserved from a result set. Sorry, all row sets objects are deserved from the result sets. So they have all the capabilities of the result sets with the some additional features. Row set interface is defined in Java x.sql package. Some additional features provided by the row sets are functions as java beans which properties and their getters and setter methods roset uses a java beans event model and they can send notifications to any registered component for each for events such as uh, such as the cursor movements cursor movements update insert delete of the row and the changes the roset container row set objects are scrollable and uh, updatable by default so if the database management system doesn't support the scrollables or updatable result set we can use the row set to get these features row sets are broadly divided into the two types those are connected row sets and uh, disconnected row sets connected row sets objects these objects are connected to a database and are most similar to result set objects. JDBC API provides only one connected row set object, Java xsql jdbc row set, and it is a standard implementation classes is com.sun.rowset.jdbc row set impl. The second one is a disconnected row set object. These row set objects are not required to connect with the database, so they are more lightweight and serializable. They are suitable for sending the data over the network. These are four types of disconnected row sets or implement implementations. The first one is cached row set. They are they can get the connection and executes the query and reads the result set data populated into the row set data. We can manipulate and update the data while it is disconnecting, disconnected and reconnect to database and write the changes. The second one is disconnected row set is the second disconnected row set is web row set derived from the cached row set. They can read and write the XML documents. The third one is join row set derived from web row set. They can form SQL joins without having the connection a data source. Filtered row set derived from the web row set. We can apply filtering criteria so that only selected data is visible. The next question is what is the difference between result set and the row set? Row set objects are deserved from the result set. So they have all the features of result set that some additional features. One of the huge benefit of row set is that they can be disconnected and that makes it lightweight and easy to transfer over the network. Whether to use a result set or row set depends on your requirement. But if you are planning to use a result set for a longer duration, then a disconnected row set is a better choice to free database resources. Next, I am going to discuss about what are the common JDBC exceptions. There are the some common JDBC exceptions are there. The first one is java.sql.sql exception. This is the base exception class for JDBC exceptions. The second one is java.sql.batchUpdate exception. This exception is thrown when a batch operation fails, but it depends on the JDBC driver whether they throw this exception or the base SQL exception. The Third one is java.sql.sql warning for warning messages in this exception operations. The fourth one is java.sql. data truncation. When the data values is unexpectedly truncated from the reason other than it's having a executed max field size. These are the 
major common JDBC exceptions. The first one is java.sql.sql exception. The second one is batch updated exception. The third one is SQL warning. And the fourth one is data truncation. The next question is what is the club and the blob data types in JDBC? Character large objects. Club means character large objects are the character string made upon the string byte character with an associated code page. This data type is appropriated for a string text oriented information where the amount of information can grow behind the limit of the regular varchar data type. Binary large object. Blob means binary large object are a binary string made up of byte with no associated with the no associated code page. This data type can be stored binary data larger than varchar of 32k limit. This data type is a good for storing a images, voice, graphicals and other typical business application specific data. See here there is a two club means character large character large object it stores the files and the blob means binary large object it stores the images like like images like images and voice and graphical graphical pictures we can save it this is the club and the blob the next question is what is the dirty read in the jdbc which isolation level prevents the dirty read when you when we work with the transaction uh, transactions there is a chance that a row is updated and at the same time other query can read that updated the value this results is a dirty read because the updated value is not a permanent at the transactions that has updated the row can be rolled back to the previous value resulting in the invalid data dirty read is prevents by isolation level is transaction underscore read underscore committed under transaction underscore repeatable underscore read under transaction underscore serializable these are helps to prevent the dirty read problem the next question is what is the different types of locking in jdbc there is a two types of lockings in jdbc the first one is optimistic locking and the pessimistic locking on the board level there is a two types of locking mechanisms the preventing the data corruption because of the more than one user working with the same data there is the two lockings are the first one is optimistic locking second one is the pessimistic locking the optimistic optimistic locking locking the records only when update is taking place the pessimistic locking locking the records from the selected to read the updated and committed commit phase this is, these are the two types of lockings optimistic and pessimistic locking the next question is what do you understand by ddl and dml statements data definition language statements means ddl means data definition language statements are needed to define the database schema create alter drop truncate rename statements comes under the ddl statements and usually they do not return any results Data manipulation language means DML statements are used to manipulate the data in the database schema select insert update delete call etc and examples under the DML statements. The next question is what is the difference between java.util.date and java.sql.date java.util.date contains the information about the date and the time whereas the java sql.date contains the information only about the date it doesn't have the time information so if you have a keep if you have to keep the time information in the database it is advisable to use a timestamp or a database date time fields see here the java.util.date contains information about the date and time and the java.sql.date contains information about the only the date the next question is how to insert an image or a raw data into the database. We can use the blob to insert image or raw binary data into the database. There is a blob is available binary large object. This binary binary large object is used to insert the data into the database. 
द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द फैंटम रीड एंड विच आइसोलेशन लेवल प्रिवेंट्स इट ए फैंटम रीड इज द सिचुएशन वेर ए ट्रांजेक्शन एक्सिक्यूट्स ए क्वरी मल्टीपल टाइम्स एंड गेट्स द डिफरेंट डेटा Suppose a transaction is executing a query to get the data based on the condition, and then another transaction is insert a row that matches the condition. Now, when the same transaction will execute the query again, a new row will be a part of the result set. This new row is referred as a phantom row, and this situation is termed as a phantom record. Phantom read. Phantom read can be prevented only with the transaction underscore serializable isolation level. See here, the phantom read means we are reading the record. Uh, if we are reading the record, uh, if we are reading the re record multiple times, it will get the different data. That is called phantom read problem. If you want to eliminate this phantom read problem, there is isolation level transaction underscore serializable. If you are putting the isolation level transaction serializable, it can be eliminate the phantom read problem. Thank you so much watching this video. Hope this lesson helpful to you. Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many session that would help you to develop our skills. And I will be back soon. Till then, you take care. Bye bye.